What's up, YT? This is your boy, Jess the Barber, here on a Tuesday. You guys wanted to see me on a Tuesday, every Tuesday. Doesn't matter what it is. Either it be a tutorial or a vlog or any type of anything. All right? So anyways, I'm right here on a Tuesday and here with my little girl, Vicious Girl. One time when I was about 12, I had this dream that I was being followed by a big dog with rabies. He had these really bloodshot eyes and foam coming out of his mouth. No matter how fast I ran, he just kept gaining on me and gaining on me and gaining on me. Then just before I got to my front door, he jumped and sank his teeth in. That's when I woke up and felt the back of my neck. Check that out. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> And if you guys don't subscribe, she's going to bite you in that. All right. So anyways, here she is, Queen Kong. Queen, you're embarrassing me. Queen, Queen, hey, hey, over here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. She doesn't look vicious today. All right. But anyways. If you catch her on her bad day, she will be vicious if you don't subscribe, all right? So go ahead and subscribe. It's right there, the red button. You guys know where it's at. It's right there on the bottom. And I'll see you guys in this lineup tutorial, all right? These are two steps. These are two secrets on how to get the crispiest lineup, all right? Some barbers know this and some barbers don't. And some barbers just don't want to let you guys know. But you know what? I'm right here to let you guys know, all right? So stay tuned. The video's coming up right now. Right, guys we are diving straight into this hairline tutorial just like that and showing you the before results before we get into this thing like I said there's two secrets to this hairline tutorial and I'm gonna show it to you you know some barbers know this secret and some don't so to those that don't pay attention so what you see me doing right here is combing a hairline down with a comb just a regular comb guys it and it doesn't have to be any comb in particular just a just a comb that you have in your drawer just laying around with closed teeth that'll do the job and for those wondering why a comb it's because it stretches out the hair it stretches out any um curly hairs that are inside within the hair um, stretches it out to its maximum capacity so i could get any stragglers out with the liners so key to this method guys is continuously combing down continuously combing down combing down combing down all the time you're gonna get tired but hey if you want a crispy lineup on your client that's what you got to do and secret number two which is why i froze this right here this is secret number two. You guys are gonna see me maybe push back to some and some I'm not pushing back. What that means is these are the baby hairs, guys. These are the baby hairs. I'm not pushing it back. I'm just taking down the hairs that are not needed. And this was secret number two that some barbers know and some barbers don't know. You know, some barbers wanna talk about it and some barbers don't wanna talk about it. But hey, I'm gonna let it out to you guys for those that don't know, and I'ma let you know, all right? And right here on the side, we're gonna do the same thing, guys. Taking down these baby hairs. It's not by much either. We're just crisping up the lines. And you don't necessarily have to be young to have baby hairs, guys. You could be older, you could be 35, you could be 45, and still have baby hairs on your forehead. So I hope with me showing you guys this, you know, this tutorial, you know, you guys don't get discouraged and lining people up and thinking you're gonna push somebody back when you're really not. You really gotta kinda sit back and judge what's a pushback and what's not. See, being a barber comes with many obstacles, guys. Many obstacles. You're gonna find out what you can do, what you can't do. Um, you know, it, go, it goes for anything. Um, who you could bald, who you can't bald. You know, things are, how would you say it? Up and down in the barber industry. And then 
you're going to come across people that are going to judge you on how your haircuts are. But hey, it's a learning process, guys. That's why I'm here. That's why many tutorials are here. That's why we're here to teach you and what you could do and what not to be scared of, guys. Just do it. So right here, you're finding me doing a C cup or the arch. Some people call it the arch. Um, you're going to want to find the end point to the end point and not push back too much. Arch up the C cup and sharpen things up. So right here, you're going to find me doing the same thing I did on his right side, your left side. And as you can see, guys, I pushed up his hairline just so you guys could see how light his hairline was. So as you can see, there was a lot of hangover and a lot of baby hairs. So let's continue and get this. So I did say there was two secrets, guys, which is the comb and then not being scared to push back a hairline, which some barbers call pushback, which is not, which we're just lining up the baby hairs. That's two, but there is three guys. There's three, so stay in tune. It's right near the end of this video. And right before I let this video go pause for a quick second, um, I would like to thank all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys and thank you guys for sharing, liking, commenting, um, telling your friends about me and whoever wants to learn the trade. Um, thank you for letting them know, guys. I appreciate it. Keep on commenting, keep on sharing, keep on telling, telling your friends about me, guys. Really means a lot to me and let them know. Just the barber's here to help. I got you.
all right guys i'm back i hope you guys didn't miss me too much <laughs> anyways um i let that on for a long pause because i mean i did everything on the right side and just pretty much give you guys giving you guys a good visual uh without the talking without the voiceover of what i'm doing i'm on the left side and now i'm just pretty much nitpicking on on and pretty much giving it all detail and doing all my finish work and going over everything that i've that i've already done and with that being said leave it down in the comments and let me know if you guys rather me be talking throughout this whole uh tutorial or whatever i have to show you guys throughout my whole uh youtubing if you guys rather have me talking or less talking or if i already explained something on one side you want me to explain it on the other side leave it down in the comments guys i like to hear it all right which leads me now to the third secret guys you see what i'm doing here all right check it out watch you'll see what i do now and then i'll pause it right there i'll pause it right there which extends the hair and leaves it extended until i bring my liners to it what this is for is for wavers wavers who put their wave caps on and then when they take them back off you won't see those extra stragglers so that was secret three and pointer three and like i said some barbers know and some barbers don't know and some barbers don't want to tell you the secrets of the trade guys so guess what that's why i'm here to let you guys know all right so stay tuned for more videos like this. If you guys like this, go ahead and hit that like button, uh, comment, subscribe, tell your grandma about me, tell your grandpa about me, tell your first, second, and third cousins about me, tell your friends about me, tell your baby mama about me, tell your baby daddy about me, all right? I could keep going on about whatnots and this and that, but don't pay attention to that sometimes, guys. I just keep going on and on and on. So what you guys see me doing here right now is stretching the skin and making a flat surface to not play skip rocks, guys. What I mean by not playing skip rocks is is having that razor just skip along the forehead. If you don't do, if you don't pull the skin, that's what's gonna happen. Skipping of the, of the razor, and that goes for anything that you do, guys. Designs, um, mustaches, eyebrows, shaving of the beard lineups anything guys you guys got to stretch the skin if not you guys are going to play skip rocks and as you can see guys i'm really paying attention to detail you got to get every little hair i mean these clients they go home and they look at themselves in mirrors guys and they judge you they judge you as a barber and see what kind of barber you are and that gives them uh, a, a big idea of whether they're going to come back or not guys so pay attention to your detail and anything that you do, your blends of your haircut to the razor end of your lineups, guys. So we're almost at the end of this tutorial, guys. And as you can see, I'm still working on his lineup because I'm paying attention to detail. And that's what you guys want to do, guys. I mean, I know we all have a time limit in, in between each cut, but take your time in some stuff, guys. Take your time in blends and take your time on lineups. Lineups is what shows your quality of your work, especially lineups, guys. So pay attention to that. So going back to times and knowing that times are important, guys, and we got to get clients out with that quality, just kind of put to the side that there's some important things that you guys got to pay attention to, which is what? The lineups and blending of your fades guys or blending of anything it could be blending of the beard or blending of your fades but it necessarily doesn't have to be those two but kind of put a few things to the side what you guys got to pay attention to and take your time on all right and in my case i take my time on lineups and i take my time on detailing of fades but fades is another category and that's another tutorial for another time guys And right here, guys, it takes a little bit of skill gliding of the blade across the forehead, um, gliding, the, 
gliding the blade across anything uh, doesn't matter what you do but gliding of the blade takes a lot of skill and a lot of accuracy guys it takes a lot of patience too but there is a trick to that guys when gliding of the blade and you can't do that and you can't seem to just keep your hand steady put your pinky down on the forehead put your pinky down on the cheek put your pinky down on a flat surface that's what keeps your hand even more steady guys and you'll catch me doing that a lot of the times when I'm working on the lineups. So we're now at the end of this tutorial, guys, this lineup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys liked it, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, or comment what you guys like to see later on in the future, right? Here's the turnaround, guys. And hope you liked it, guys. So this is Just the Barber, and I'm out. Killed that shit.